All right. This one goes out to black women specifically. I'm sorry, but when there's a cause that affects all women, And you have these various feminist groups that come out and jump up and down and scream blue murder. I question whether they think of black women as equals, as members of their movement. A lot of things. And the reason I say that is there is a march that's going to occur the day after the inauguration for Trump. That's the 20th of uh, January. On the 21st, a bunch of white people came together white women, I should say, came together and decided that they were going to have a 300-woman uh, uh, march on Washington. The funny thing about that was that they hadn't thought to, quote-unquote, include black women. Now, that this is not the first time that this has been done. And it, it just strikes me that anytime there is a black woman issue, all of these major white feminist groups, all of a sudden they develop a bad case of laryngitis. Uh, Sandra Bland, Maritza Alexander, uh, the lady that got beat down by that California Highway Patrol person, the woman that got shot uh, by uh, police in Illinois. I mean, there are, I can keep going, there's a lot of them that just would oppress me to try to come up with a lot of them. And I'm, I, I got a couple other videos that I have in mind regarding some of those things. But anyway, this particular march um, is now going to, quote unquote, include uh, black women's groups as they have reached out to, I guess, black female activists. Anyway, this segment from the Roland Martin Show is going to point out my hypothesis about the fact that white women really do not consider black women to be part of their group. And honestly, in my opinion, not even a major ally. Here we go. Folks, the day after, the day after, Trump's inauguration, uh, a th hundreds of thousands of women will gather in Washington, D.C. Uh, for a march speaking to issues that they say is important, but also to send a signal to the uh, incoming president that he will have to address their issues as well. One of the organizers uh, who is making this happen is Janae Inger. We've been talking, she's been on our panel. And of course, uh, she can give us more of the details. So Janae, let's talk about this particular march uh, because you've had a lot of back and forth, lots of drama. You call it marching in Washington. People are getting upset because millions of women march as well. And so what is the status of the march? So we have uh, a location that we have announced. We've had a location for a few weeks and people have been seeing in the media um, a lot of reports about us not getting a permit or, you know, certain challenges, or at least that's the way the media was putting it out. It was no challenge. Um, obviously, we have inauguration that's happening the day before. And so what that means is, logistically, it's a little more nuanced than when you plan something with nothing else around it. Because, because normally, it's, normally it's on the National Mall, Lincoln Memorial, right. or the Capitol, but because of the inauguration, well, and actually, we never intended to, none of our permits ever intended to be at the Lincoln Memorial. What happened was you had a group of women who had never organized anything send out an email to some friends saying, let's get together on the Lincoln Memorial the day after inauguration. That quickly grew. So like, hold on, this, this thing went from a get-together? It went from a get-together. <laughs> to about 300,000. Yeah, yes, exactly, that's exactly what happened. That's and why Hillary lost is because white women, <laughs> because white women <laughs> do not know how to 
to do anything because the majority of them voted for Mr. Trump, and that's and no seriously. And then so you know, and now these white women they so outraged, but they didn't talk to their sisters, and they were sleeping with their Trump voting husbands uh, who were whispering in their ears. And so, but I mean, I, I just have thrown my hands up. I've been an activist all my life. I, I, I'm but trying to work on her. Janae, I, go I, ahead. I, I go ahead, Janae. Janae, go ahead. Yes. So, so yes, they, they, there was an issue um, in the beginning with. In 48 hours, they recognized the need to bring in women of color. They brought in um, three women of color to meet the Mallard. Within 48 hours, Janae? And within 48 so, hours. So you mean, it, it, was never, <laughs> it was never in their consciousness in the first place that no, women no, of color okay. should be at the okay. table. It was never in their Janae, consciousness Janae, in the first place. Janae, Janae, let me ask you a question. Yes. Yes, Rowan. Purpose of the march. The purpose of the march is really to say women's rights are human rights. We have so many issues that are impacting women, whether you're a woman of color, who you, a black woman who has to worry about her or her child or her brother, her husband going out into the street and getting shot by police. You have Muslim women who are worried about uh, a Muslim registry and whether or not they and their families will then become a part of some list. You have uh, Latino, specifically Mexican mothers, who are worried about their them and their children being torn apart and families being torn apart and so this isn't this well, where is have these white women been with all these issues all this time well you know let's be clear there's still a lot of room to grow we're, we're not going to say that this march is the the panacea for uh or the cure-all for you know the issues that have historically been been here between women of color and being excluded from the feminist movement but i will say the acknowledgement that yes they needed to bring in women of color we need to allow that it, it at the end of the day, gotcha. they acknowledge Jason. Yeah, I, I love that, that lady on the on the left because she hit it on the head. After the fact, they never it never hit their consciousness that they should have been inclusive from the very beginning. It took them two days, forty eight hours, to uh, for it to hit somebody's consciousness that uh, maybe we should call some of these uh, uh, women of color to uh, to join us. Now, see, and that's why I say, hey, if it's inclusive, it's inclusive. Black women should have been there from the moment that this thing got kicked off, not uh, brought in as an afterthought. So, ladies, uh, just some food for thought.